While discussing ISIS today, Scott Brown came down hard on the Obama administration and Democratic incumbent Jean Shaheen. Senator Shaheen is now reacting to Brown's speech and says it had political grandstanding and fear mongering, something she says isn't needed during a time when the country needs to work together. Six weeks before the November election, today Republican Scott Brown delivered a foreign policy speech at St. Anselm College wrong. addressing the threat of ISIS. We've got to get serious about securing our borders. And we really have to do it yesterday. During his speech, Brown criticized the Obama administration's foreign policy and ability to stay ahead of national security threats. He says the administration is maxed out, worn down, and devoid of ideas. So if we've seen some bad calls at the White House, it's a very safe bet that our senior senator has been right in line with that failed program. Brown is accusing Democratic incumbent Senator Gene Shaheen of backing the president's approach. Scott Brown is confused about that, just as he's confused about what kind of approach we should take to address um, this critical threat from ISIS. Shaheen is defending her work against ISIS, saying she continues to support airstrikes in Syria and votes for military action. And we need to build an international coalition, which is exactly what we're doing. That includes Muslim states, um, Arab countries, that we need to go after their financing and their recruitment efforts. But Brown says her efforts are too late. He says Shaheen, who's a member of the Foreign Relations Committee, had not spoken publicly about the threat of ISIS until a month ago. In fact, when the committee was actually having a hearing to learn of the threat of ISIS. It was a year and a half ago. Guess what? She missed the meeting. I've been talking about this and the threat that civil war in Syria and what's happening in the Middle East poses um, for years now and have voted that way. Senator Shaheen says she will continue to fight ISIS and believes that the Obama administration will be successful in defeating the terrorist group. Brown says if the administration, with the help of Congress, had stayed ahead of these threats, then the global security picture would look a lot better than it does right now. Live in the studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.